y'all welcome back to my channel wanted to get on here today with a drugstore haul and y'all i don't want to be dramatic but <laughs> i have a full face of drugstore on today and i'm telling you one of the products blew my mind this morning and i'm going to start with that one i have already tried the lash princess the green one hang on this one the green one well if you're like me and you think they all look the same but they have different colors I thought that until I tried two new ones. I tried the purple and the peach. The peach one yesterday, this is the volume, volume, this is just volume. And this was okay. The, you know, this was okay. I thought, yeah, I still wanna use my hot and naughty my, from Mac. So I'll use it up, but you know, I'll use it with other things. <laughs> this one, the purple, what's that called? sculpted volume. This now is above my matte cotton naughty. I don't think I've ever used anything that has made my eyelashes longer than this does. I mean, I just stop and I put one and a half, I'm gonna say a half, but like one and a half coats of this on, touched up after the gym, and I wanna say spottery. <laughs> this is greatness. Okay, I'll stop. But it is, I'm telling you, if you haven't tried the purple one, try it. Next thing I want to talk about is eyeshadows. I picked up three. I picked up two, make, two Makeup Revolutions. Finally, I've been wanting to try these. And then I picked up another e.l.f. And this one is the Everyday Smoky. I'll start with that. The Everyday Smoky. This looks a lot like the Mad for Matte, and one of them just fell out, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'll tell you what I think about e.l.f. shadows. They're okay. They're they're okay, but if I'm comparing them to upper end, no, they do not hold up to most of my upper end palettes. They're just, you know, they're okay. They blend okay. They go on okay. The pigment's okay. You know, pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll use these occasionally. They just didn't blow me away. But the Makeup Revolution, y'all. Okay, the Iconic Pro Two. This, I, okay, that's the brush. This I used yesterday and loved it as much as anything high end I have. This will go in my rotation. Loved the look I got with it yesterday. Loved the pigment. They do have some kick up and they do fall out a little bit. But you know what? If I'm going to use Lorac and Anastasia, can you really grab about that? You know, maybe that means they're better. I don't know. The pigment's good on them. Hold on, I'll just show you real fast. Super nice. I loved the look I got with that. That's going in my regular rotation. Then what I have on today, thank you, Makeup Revolution. I just fell in love with you. This one, the sleigh. What I probably will do with this, I may use it on its own, or I may use it with the heat. The only thing I don't like about this, I wish the pans were bigger. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of that narrow, but my brushes are narrow, they go in it fine, and I love the look I got with it today. It's on my pinky. <sighs> Lovely. That red is very pigmented because I put a little bit of that over this other look I did with the Iconic Pro 2, and I could see the red over the brown. It has a great pigment. Y'all, if you've been wanting to try the Makeup Revolution, these are great. Now, I did have to touch up towards the end of the day. I don't know if that was my application of it, that I didn't get enough out here, or if it wears off through the day. But I loved these. And then after that, I'm gonna talk about the Maybelline Prime, Master Prime. This is a primer, an eye primer. Now, I've worn this twice. I wore it today and I wore it yesterday. I'm not a huge fan of the way it applies. It has that doe foot applicator. I tell you what this reminded me a little bit of was the Urban Decay that I had tried that I also was not that crazy about. It kind of goes, you know, you put it on with the little applicator and then I blended it out with my fingers. It is a little bit shiny and I'm just not a huge fan. But I didn't like the way that you apply it. So if you like the Urban Decay, you might like this. Might be worth a try. Okay, then I picked up the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I love this. I love it. I applied it with my KC Republic Artist Oval Dupe. 
put it right here did not really have to it goes on kind of subtle so i didn't have to you know really work to blend it out to be honest with you i've not used a, i've maybe never used a cream contour so i don't have a lot to compare it to but i like it i'll use that a powder the fit me powder i had heard good things about this i don't hate it my first impression of this is that i will not repurchase it if that changes i'll let you know when i put this on with a brush it kind of sat on top of my skin and i really had to you know not work to blend it but you know it's it's not finely milled this goes on fine with a puff i would say it leaves me a little bit powdery i'll use it i'll probably use this on my eyes before i put on my eyeshadow it's probably what i'll use that for but i was kind of disappointed in it i mean it's, it's the opposite of finely milled <laughs> it's kind of chunky picked up two bronzers the Better Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this so much. I did an Instagram story on it. I love this, y'all. The smell of that. I'm probably talking to a whole bunch of people that have already tried this. It smells great, but it is also beautiful. It goes on kind of subtle, so I feel I really could take a bath in this. I will keep this. I love my Tande Chanel, but if I had tried this first, I might not have that. Now, we need balance in our lives. I love the Tanda Chanel, but I love this too. And then a contouring palette. The Wet n Wild Contour. This is very nice. Um, very pigmented. Very pigmented there. I will definitely use this. And then I use that highlighter kind of around up under here and on my temples. And really liked this. This is a very nice product. I had heard that. That was one that I expected to like and I did really like it okay then heard about this on Dawn's Life Over 40 Dawn if you don't know her go to her channel she is a precious girl and she did a get ready with me with this physician's formula cushion makeup and it was so beautiful on her skin the luminosity on this is perfection it's not too shiny, but it's not too flat. Great cover. I would call this medium to full. Put this on with a beauty blender. I'll try it with my Artist Oval. I loved this. Thank you, Dawn, for doing your get ready with me with that. Okay, then picked up the Age Rewind Eraser Foundation. I knew how good the concealer was. Tried the foundation yesterday, so I don't have it on. It's beautiful. I wore it on one set of my face yesterday. I don't have it on today, but it's fast. Um, I'll, I'll definitely use this and I'll probably repurchase it. Maybelline. They're like It Cosmetics. They just rarely disappoint. Okay, then also yesterday, y'all, I usually do not like the L'Oreal foundations, but heard that the True Match Lumi, and I can't remember what channel I heard this on, wore this yesterday. It's beautiful. Nice luminosity, nice cover, wore great through the day. I loved it. I finally found a L'Oreal foundation that I love. And I will use this. Um, yeah, it's it's beautiful. Um, then this morning, I tried a stick foundation. The Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Balance. Now, I've never worn a stick foundation. I was afraid it was going to be too, like, overly creamy. It's on this side of my face today. Yeah, it's on this side. The Physician's Formula is on this side. Y'all, I feel sorry for anything that has to be on the other side of the physician's formula. The Maybelline's over here. And this is just a little bit prettier than this. But this is nice and fast. This would be great to travel with. Maybe to carry in your purse for touch-ups if you don't powder too much. And um, this was great. It was fast. It has like a medium cover. Dries down immediately. Does not feel too greasy. I loved this. This just seems like good to have around because how tiny it is. Then I tried two blushes. I tried this stick blush by LA Girl. I didn't care for this that much. I thought it came off a little weak. Maybe it's the color. I didn't care for this that much. It wasn't a lot of fun to use. I probably won't even use that up. Didn't really care for that. And then I tried the Elf in Rose Royalty. And a beautiful color, and it went on fine, but I didn't really enjoy it that much. I don't, I don't know that I'll, I don't, I don't even know that I'll use this up. I, I didn't enjoy it that much. I put it on with a beauty blender, and, but that might have just been an application preference. It went on fine. 
yeah, has a nice pigment to it, but I just didn't find that, <laughs> just didn't really float my boat that much, but it was okay. Okay, then I tried, now I've tried this several days, the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. I'm very on the fence about this concealer. I got it because I love my NARS in the pot so much, this little pot container. This really illuminates nicely, but I think it separates a little bit on me, but my under eyes are real dry right now from, I don't know what, maybe Dharma Rolling, Tretinoin. This, I would say this is worth a try because I'm, sometimes I love it and sometimes I'm like, is that separating? Yesterday I loved it. This morning I put it on and I was like, I think that's separating a little bit. So let me know what you think about this NYX concealer. I'm tempted to let it. I'm gonna keep using it, keep trying it. Let me know what you think about it, if you've tried it. I'm putting it in my drawer to keep trying it. This next one, Dark Circle Concealer by NYX. I used this this morning, y'all. It's like an apricot -y color on my pinky. I love this. On a first impression, I put this on a tiny baby blender, put it on my dark circles. I want to say this covered better than anything I've ever tried on my under eye circles, including my Marc Jacobs, including my MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. I'll let you know as I wear this, but the cover it was like 100% coverage of my dark circles. I would say this is definitely worth a try. If you haven't picked this up, this may be my new holy grail. Two highlighters. The Elf in Moonlight Pearls. I'm not crazy about this. It looks like a really beautiful color, like my hourglass. But it feels real powdery and dry. And then when I put it on my finger, it's okay. That pigment is okay. I don't know how it's going to come across on camera. It's not great. And I showed it to my daughter to see if she agreed with me. And she was like, yeah, that's not great. But this next one, this Maybelline Master Chrome. This Maybelline Master Chrome, soft, oh, y'all, I just put my finger in it again. I tell you what that reminds me of. I'm going to put it side by side. It feels better. Okay, find the expensive one. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome. That's my Natasha Denona Glow. The Maybelline is softer feels better-y. It feels higher end than my Natasha Denona. It is beautiful. This feels higher end than my high end. It's lovely. A blush brush by Ecotools. Love this. It's nice and firm, but has just a little bit of give. I love this blush brush. I needed one bad because my Morphe, it now I give my blush brushes a beating, like I really rub it in there. I love this blush brush by Ecotools. Then I picked up two lipsticks, Milani lipstick. This is in Matte Innocence. Matte Innocence. It is a pinky nude. The formulation on this is beautiful. And I love this because it may be a nice compromise between dead <laughs> and being, you know, being too light and not light enough. This is beautiful. I have it on today. And I love it. And I love the formulation of it. Matte Innocence. The Milani lipsticks are beautiful. And then I picked up another Maybelline. This one is beautiful for lightening lipstick. Hold on. Just right there. Okay, right there in the middle. You know how you can make it lighter in the middle to make your lips look bigger? And so I got this for that. Bare All and Matte Innocence. I love both of those. Okay, then I picked up, and I heard this on Dawn's Life Over 40 as well. Thank you, Dawn, for all the good products. And maybe Glitzy Fritzy. I can't find my open one. Here it is. I got two of these. I bought one in Target, and I ordered one. Um, I got one in milk, and one in... <laughs> Y'all, I got two in milk. And I'll tell you what I'm using these for. I'm using these to lighten eyeshadow on my lid to put either shimmer or really make a true pigment on my eyeshadow. That was a glitzy fritzy trick, I think. And then I'm also using it in the corner of my eyes right here. And I love it. I love it. I used that right before I turned this on to tape. I love these. Picked up a lip gloss 
Vivid Hot Lacquer. It's a Maybelline. This is in Tease, and I really like it. I'm going to put it on what I already have on. And this is super light. So if you like the nudes, real pretty. This also would lighten lipstick, you know, but that's my theme, y'all. Okay, then I also picked up this Brightening Creamy Concealer by Maybelline. I was not blown away with this for an under eye touch up. This didn't blow me away, which shocked me because it's Maybelline concealer and I love Maybelline concealer, but this did not blow me away. I'm going to keep using it and if I change my mind, I'll let y'all know. Then I also picked up another e.l.f. brush just to add, you know, for a buffing brush. e.l.f., you, you can't go wrong very often on their brushes. This is a flawless face brush and I love it. I love it for blush. I love it for buffing. This is just nice. It's the perfect firmness. And then also from e.l.f., I picked up this small angled brush to blend under here. This is tiny. If you're looking for a tiny brush, this is great. And I like that. I knew I would. I like it a lot. Then I also picked up this Master Highlighter by Maybelline. This is my last thing, y'all. I'll tell y'all what I would compare this to. Beautiful. That it's creamy. It blends out nice. I like the liquid because it doesn't show everything on me as much as a powder. This is lovely here. Let me put just a little bit up here. Just adds a little bit of a glow, you know, subtle. The Maybelline highlighters, they are great. If you like a highlighter, I don't wear them all the time, but I like keeping them for when I do want them. They do add that little extra. Anyway, that is all my drugstore. List below your favorite drugstore products because I'm, I'm liking me some drugstore. I'm going to get some more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.